Hey everybody, welcome to the Apple Ninja. Today we're gonna go over cleaning up our computers, cleaning up our desktop, getting rid of all that clutter. We're gonna organize the heck out of our Macs. I'm gonna show you some awesome tips. We're gonna go over stacks. We're gonna go over customized folder icons. We're gonna go over customized tags. Then we're gonna end with smart folders and we're gonna get all in depth, be able to find duplicate files and everything. Let's dig in. If you're new to the channel, we geek out on everything Apple. So get subscribed and make sure to hit that alert icon so you get the latest content. All right, first up, we're gonna go over stacks. Super slick, super easy. If I click on this, boom. I just put myself in stacks. All you gotta do, the key command is control command zero. Or you go up to view, down to use stacks. And that just quickly and easily cleans up your desktop, organizing everything that is of a similar kind and type, right? So you've got all your images, movies. So then if I just click on any one of these, I can see the stack. All right, next up we got customized folder icon. So if I want this Organize My Mac to be some icon, I could, Let's say I just go into the applications folder and I want it to be the same as contacts. I do command I on that folder or on that uh, application. Click on the little icon up here. Do a command C to copy it. Go over to my organize and customize my Mac. Do the same thing. Command I to get info on that folder. Click on the little folder icon. Do a command V. Paste it, boom. Now, that folder has the customized icon. Pretty slick. All right, the next thing that's up, we want to apply tags and use Apple's tags. So let's close this out. And let's say we look down at the tags down here. They're all labeled red, orange, yellow. What's awesome is I can control click on this and I can rename it. So I want this to be projects. These are all my projects. So then what I do is I go and I control click each one of these. I give it the tag of project because these are all my projects. Give this guy it too. And when I wanna go see all my projects, I can quickly and easily click project from the tags area and see all of my current projects. Awesome way to organize your projects and get a quick view of them. All right, that's customized tags. Let's hop into smart folders. Smart folders is super awesome. So this is probably my favorite feature uh, in the Mac OS right now. It's just, it's super slick. All right, so you just go up to file new smart folder and you click the little plus over here so what a smart folder is going to be able to do is just a variety of different stuff the first one i want to show you is i want to go, click on this name and i want to go down to kind and then i'm going to click on that drop down and this is an area that you're really going to want to look at so click on kind and click on uh, the list so you can see if i click on this application what is super awesome about this is it's going and looking for all applications on my system. So it's showing me stuff in my utilities folder. It's showing me stuff all over, right? So it's a great way to see what is truly on your system for you to be able to use. I'm going to click save and I'm going to name it all apps. I want it to it's gonna save it into the save searches in my user's library folder. And then I'm gonna click add to sidebar. So it adds it to the sidebar over here, click save. Now I've got all apps. I can go through and check out these apps that maybe I haven't seen if I haven't dug in all around the OS. All right, we're gonna do a few smart folders. Do another one and we're gonna click kind again, and I want you to click on archive. 
And what Archive is going to do is it's going to show me all these installers that have maybe downloaded over the years. So that these things take up a lot of unnecessary space. You've already installed the app and most likely you can go download a newer version from the vendor or get it in a different way like the Mac App Store. Um, so definitely use this as a quick and dirty way to find all those installers so that you can clean up your Mac. All right, so then we're gonna go do another smart folder and this one is going to be kind again and I wanna click on movie. So what's awesome about this is I can use this to go find duplicates if I have duplicates on my system. Photos, videos, you end up with duplicates across your system all the time. So you can create this kind movie, name it maybe all movies, add it to the side and now I can go through find the duplicates that are on this system and delete them so that I can clear up valuable space, right? Get it cleaned up. All right. The next one I want to show you is we're going to do another smart folder. These things are awesome, man. I'm telling you. So let's click the plus. All right. So I want you to do name ends with and I'm doing .sh. I wanna find all the scripts on this system. That's kind of a bummer, I only have one. But you could do anything. If I wanted to use this to find PDFs, I could just do PDF, right? And it's gonna go find all the PDFs. Awesome way to find different file extensions and, and organize your files. And remember, this is going to be a quick and easy way for you to find duplicates on your system. So you go find all these, start deleting them out, right? Makes it really easy. You sort it by name, grab that chunk of duplicates that you have, delete them out. All right, so I can click, I'm gonna go back to the SH because this is what I want. And I'll just say scripts. All right. And then I want to do one last one um, in there and I want to find file sizes. <clears throat> I'm gonna click on other. And we're gonna scroll down through the list. This is awesome, isn't it? And we're gonna find file size. And if I want to keep that in the menu, I can click that right here. I'm going to, and I can click. I wanna find everything that is greater than one, whoops, one gig on my system. So then I can know what I wanna delete that's huge, right? Taking up a bunch of unnecessary space. So then I just click save files 1GB plus. Save it. All right, so now I've got all my smart folders. I've got my projects. I've got all this stuff. Things to note. When I click on movies, I can stretch this out. You notice how it doesn't tell me the size of the file, you always wanna check the size as well as the name of the file when you're looking for duplicates. I'm gonna control click right here and I'm gonna choose size. So you can go and add different items into that area and that's gonna allow me to look at the size. And I could even sort by size if I wanted to and find all the ones that are the same size, maybe those are the duplicates, things like that. So if I want to delete one of these, what I need to do is I need to control click on this guy 
and I need to go show in closing folder and I'm going to delete that command delete and then I also have to control click on it again remove from sidebar and now it's gone and, and that's it. Uh, hopefully you're digging the smart folders and organization tips that you learned here. And if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. You guys have an amazing week. Can't wait to see you next week. Take care.